Oh, why, hello, replay viewers. Let's see who tunes on in. Hello there, Wilbs, driving to Northern Line. Harambe, that's right, TYC. Hello there, Chilla Dean, smoking me if you got him. Good to see you, Todd Scott. Welcome. Good to see you, Viking. Good to see you, Sunshine After the Rain. And Rosalind, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Get all, the, get all the sneezes out. Hello there, Tracy Taylor. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I do not know if this art piece is going to still be there, so let's find out. CB Earth Day, Myrna. What's up for today? Harambe. That's what's up today. Hopefully he's still there. Hello there, CD. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, guys. I think I got, a, I think I got an autumn sneeze coming around here. Autumn sneeze coming around. That's right. In sound with the sound. Yeah, I work with the sound off. It's okay, Darren. I know you don't hear me. Smoke him if you got him. Chilla D and coffee in 420. That sounds perfectly fine. We're here in uh, lower Manhattan, right here behind the Tweed Courthouse. That's that building right there. You know the Tweed Courthouse took longer to build than the Brooklyn Bridge? Kind of crazy. But there was an art piece installed yesterday, and I'm hoping it's still there. And it's going to be Harambe standing off against Morris, the Charging Bull statue. And evidently, uh, the Charging Bull statue has many, many bananas at his feet. Because after all, Wall Street is going bananas. So we're going to see that. I am really hoping it's still there. Let's let a few more people tune in, and then we'll begin our walk down Broadway to hang out with Morris. Worst comes worst, we'll hang out with Morris. We'll say hello to Fearless Girl. We will, we will do our usual. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Hassan Terrell, hello. Please remember that today uh, uh, I, I am not tired, so uh, I, I will the, the, the very limited capacity with stupid comments in the stream today, so please keep that in mind. Hello there, Debbie. Welcome. Hello there, Natasha. Good to see you. Uh, Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S, Morris. Uh, when does Morris move? I do not know yet, Wilbs. Hello there, Elise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He was supposed to move like last year, but pandemics and stuff. Pandemics. But I do not know when Morris is gonna move over to the stock exchange, that, his, that, is, that will be his next move. We'll be over at the Stock Exchange. Yes. M-O-R-R-I. It's like more business. People, some people call him Morris the Bull because he's on the corner of Morris and Broadway. Hello there, Susan. Having a great day. Had a lovely tour this morning on an e-bike. So I'm all full of vim and vigor and energy. Ready to do this live stream for your Johnny Mocha. Good to see you, Johnny Mocha. Welcome. But yesterday an art piece was installed by uh, some sapien group people. I don't know. The website was weird. And, uh, <laughs> and evidently we're going to hopefully see. Don't touch the balls. I think the balls might be covered. But yes, there's a statue of Harambe facing off, a seven-foot statue of Harambe facing off against the Morris the Bull, the Charging Bull statue over at Bowling Green. So that's where we're going to go. Hello there, MFL. Welcome. Hello there, Esteban. Buenvenidos. Hello there, Purple Flurple. And a few more people tune out, tune on in here, and then we'll begin our walk down Broadway. Thank you. 
to Nebu. Where are you? I don't know where Nebu is. Hello there, James, out there in the United Kingdom, and we're technically on Broadway. Yeah, we're just off to the side of Broadway here. We will be walking down Broadway in a few moments here. Let's let some people, more to more people tune in before we get going here. Hello there, RoboJax, you're in. Good to see you. Beautiful, beautiful today, beautiful today, beautiful day today here in New York. A little cold. Broke out the hoodie, so a little chilly, but still. Hopefully all the Nightbot stuff works. Please keep in mind, if you use too many emojis, Nightbot may penalize you, so please be light on the emojis this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, or this night, depending on where you are in the earth. I heard it's round. You want to drive your Peterbilt? That sounds good. That sounds good, Wilbs. Going to try to listen while you mow the lawn. All right, Todd Scott. Beautiful fall day, Debbie. Nice and crisp air in the city today. I think it's around 60-something degrees right now. We haven't hit 70 just yet, but it's projected to hit around 72 degrees today, maybe 71 in the mid-60s here. What are we doing for Hall Halloween, Esteban? Uh, we'll be in Coney Island for Halloween there, Esteban. We'll be in Coney Island was going on. It is 21 past the hour here in New York. Let's do this. Oy. All right. Here we go, guys. Another beautiful day in New York. Wouldn't have it any other way. I, I am hoping for the doggy parade also, Sunshine after the rain. I am hoping for the dog parade also. There will be a children's parade, but obviously I won't be live streaming that because that has. <laughs> I will be covering the doggy parade. No, no doubt I'll be official press for that, like just like I was last time. So we had the best seats in the house. Tweed Courthouse to my left and City Hall to my right hand side. Can't see the bloody sun. <laughs> Hopefully the sun will come out in London. Manana. Manana. Looks like my nightbot is finally working. <laughs> Didn't have the tip thing set up properly, so now we Brooklyn Bridge. Some kind of there it goes. Hello there, Mercy. So there's some kind of march happening over the bridge at the moment, some kind of veterans march. I don't know if they're gonna be here any minute now. I think it's gonna take a while to get over the bridge, but I think they may, they may march down Broadway. So we may see them in a little bit. Right now, beautiful blue, cobalt blue sky here in New York. Let's keep on going here. Let's make our way down Broadway. Yeah, you guys got no sun out there in Europe. I'm sorry to hear that. We have a beautiful sunny day here. I think we have beautiful sunny days for the next two weeks here in New York. For the next two weeks. Got the hoodie on right now.
Free zone. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh God, this signal's all out of whack down here today. Wow, it smells really, really messed up down here today. Yeah, the Wi-Fi blockers might be on, Wilbs, is uh, uh, here in Lower Manhattan, so they might have some cell phone disruptors for that. But the signal is not the best there it goes downtown today. signal is horrible today. It's horrid. Signal is all over the place, guys, so please bear with the signal today. Hello there, Blondie. Hello there, Katya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please. <laughs> Signal all over the place today. Not the best. Not the best. Please bear with the broadcast. In front of us right there, St. Paul's Chapel, one of the oldest buildings in New York City. Up in 1797. There goes the signal again. signal all over the place today guys cell phone signal not the best today hello there Ange welcome have you heard about this uh, temporary art piece hello there Nadia welcome those chapel right there there it is as we approach Fulton Street here, we're going south along Broadway. We're going to go say hello to Morris, the Charging Bull statue. Right now. And hopefully, hopefully, they will have this seven-foot statue of Harambe still there. Uh, yesterday, some weird, some weird techno, um, 
cryptocurrency group left a seven foot tall Harambe statue facing off against the Charging Bull statue and placed at the Charging Bull statue's feet were hundreds and hundreds of bananas because Wall Street is going bananas. So let's see how this works out. Hopefully the art piece is still there. I am hoping it's still there. Hello there, Arcade Games. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, I hope it's still here, Ange. I don't know if it's still here. It was, uh, it was released this time yesterday. So, it's about a day old if, it's, if it is there. And we're going to find out. I heard it's... There is no information on how long it's going to be there. And also who the artist is. There's no information of the artist who actually did it, which is a little messed up. Hello there, Mike. Good morning. As we walk down Broadway, Canyon of Heroes, where all the ticker tape parades happen, right here. Oh, you've been officially watching me for a year. Awesome. Yes, the Harambe that was killed in the Cincinnati Zoo. Correct. That Harambe. It's the meeting of the meme worlds. If that statue is still there. But thanks for watching me for a year. More exciting adventures to come. You've watched the rest. Now watch the best. <laughs> Good to see you there. Larizita. Hello. Sorry I mispronounced your name. Well, I get out of the bike lane here. As we approach Zuccotti Park is across the street. Our good friend Double Check. Actually, do we have the light? Let's go say hello to Double Check since we're here in an art walk. Double check doesn't have any company around just yet. Hello there, ABX girl. And hello there, are you still looking for your pen? He's still looking for that pen. He's still looking for that damn pen since 1982. This is Double Check by Stuart Johnson Stewart. Very much a hurricane, sorry, well, Hurricane Sandy survivor, but more importantly, a 9-11 survivor. He was placed just down the block here on the corner of Church and Liberty Street. And unfortunately, those horrible 9-11 picture book sellers would use him as a point of reference. If you come here to the lower, lower Manhattan, more importantly, to the World Trade Center, do not buy one of these picture books. There's over 40 ongoing lawsuits uh, about these picture books. And then, no and, and there's, wow, some guys just yelling at, guys just yelling at me. Okay. Uh, um, there's over 40 law, ongoing lawsuits about these 9-11 picture book sellers because it's basically a book of stolen pictures and really bad pigeon English. So do not, do not buy those picture books. If, if anything, go to the 9-11 uh, museum store, which is right here along Liberty Street, and there you could buy an official picture book and official, official stuff pertaining to 9-11. Here's Zuccotti Park. Yeah, no money for me, sucker. Nope. I guess not. <laughs> I already made my money, to be honest. But he's just talking out loud. Hello there, Cassio. Welcome. Hello there, Colleen, out there in Cyprus, 6.30 in the evening. Nice, I heard it's nice weather out there in Cyprus right now. Welcome. Welcome to a, a very brisk lower Manhattan. I wouldn't call it cold, because if I call this cold, then what do I call it when it, when it begins snowing, right? And 
And Wilbs with a five pound super chat. Wilbs, thank you so much for the five pounds. Thanks for the beer token. Tonight, that is for sure. Coming up on our, right in front of us, Trinity Church, where Alexander Hamilton is buried. What does that guy know, right? What a beautiful day here in New York. And I believe the cemetery is not open just yet. Yeah, exactly. It's not cold until you can't feel your feet. Exactly. Yolo! 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 <laughs> if you know the lyrics, please feel free to sing along. <laughs> but yes, if you can still feel your feet, it's not cold. I'm Myrna Bergen with a five Canadian super chat. Myrna, thank you so much for the five Canadian. Thanks for joining the five dollar club, everyone. Get some falafel. No, thank you. I'm actually going to a birthday party, so got to keep my tummy empty for the birthday party. Trinity Church Cemetery right here. Hello there, Nico. Doing great. All right. A couple blocks away from Morris Charging Bull. If I cross over Rector Street. All right. Just a couple of blocks away from Morris. Just a couple of blocks away. I hope this Harambe statue is still there. If it is, I'll be very excited. <laughs> we will. So to speak. That's right, Wilfs. <laughs> As we pass by Exchange Place and Broadway, so go south along Broadway. The old Native American track, the Lenape track. The only street created in 1811. And wow, I got double parked cars here, making it only one lane. Very chaotic. Uh, is it still there? Oh. Maybe not. I can't tell. There's all these buses in the way now. Was it really only here? Was it was this statue really only here for a day? Or a couple of hours? Good to see you, ABX girl. Welcome. Was this statue really only here for a couple of hours? It was unveiled yesterday morning. Now I'm, now I'm wondering if it was an officially sanctioned statue. All right, let's, let's be... Uh, Let's be kamikazes here. Walking the street. Yeah, but I think the Harambe statue is gone. The Harambe is gone. Harambe is not facing off against Mars the Bull. Sunshine after the rain with a $5 super chat. Sunshine after the rain. Thank you so much for the $5. Yep, the Harambe exhibit literally only lasted just a few hours. It is not here anymore. But let's see the, uh, everyone, as everyone waits in line 
for the front and the back. Oh man, I was really hoping to see this Harambe statue. So he was only here for a few hours yesterday. Harambe facing off against Morris, the charging bull statue. And that's how you do it. Grab the bull by the horns. That's how you get the good luck. Bulls. <laughs> I was really hoping to see that Harambe statue. But it was clearly only here for a few hours. One of those art pieces that you got to run down and grab and, and take a photo of before they make it disappear. Just like that a ch fearless girl art installation when they uh, added all that glass around her that literally only lasted about six hours. So I'm sorry guys, I was really hoping for you guys to see the Harambe statue. I was really hoping that, well let's, let's say hello to She's kind of mode. Let's go say hello to Fearless Girl since we're here. Oh, how upset I am. I really wanted to see that Harambe statue. I guess it was only here for a couple of hours. Not even a full day. That's what I... It's the fun part about New York, though. You get sometimes these art pieces that are very ephemeral, that don't last very long. Well, let's make our way over to the stock exchange. See what's cooking over there. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I wish we could see the Harambe statue. But it only lasted a few hours yesterday. It did not last very long. Good to see you, Diana. Welcome. Let's at least say hello to Fearless Girl. I don't guess I worked my way up. So I gotta kill. Residual aftermath. downtown today is all over the place. There it goes again. Bloody hell, that guy's driving fast for a closed street. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Let's go say hello to Fearless Girl. I'm a little upset that there's no Harambe statue. Gotta have to retitle this live stream. <laughs> totally going to have to retitle this live stream when I hop on the train. Yep, yeah, I know it's Todd. I'm, I'm, I'm going to a birthday party immediately after this, so I'm not going to eat falafel uh, before I hop on the train. 
fearless girl last year. Yeah, today's one of those days where it's just a bad signal. Can't do much about it. But here we are in front of the stock exchange. $14 trillion is traded in this building every day. Oh, fearless girl getting some attention today. Uh, okay, all right, that works. Let's say hello to the girl. Is anyone going to take a picture? Let's take a, let's take a picture. Here's our, here's our fearless girl. It's a tour guide touring right there, so I'll get out of their way. This will be a quick live stream today. Ooh, we got some scaffolding here in front of Federal Hall. That's exciting. I heard Federal Hall will be opening up in a few weeks. Yeah, they took off her mask. Well, no doubt the fearless girl is fully vaccinated. <laughs> Here's where George Washington said his oath to become the first president of the United States in April 1783. Hello there, Owen. So no Harambe statue, guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've taken away the Harambe statue. It only lasted a few hours yesterday. I was hoping for it to at least last a few days, but <laughs> I guess not. And Diana Lee with a five pound super chat. Diana Lee, thank you so much for the five pounds. Hello there, Fila style. Big bummer indeed. Looking forward to it all day. But, it is what it is. Let's make our way over to the World Trade Center. You thought you heard the Mortal Kombat call. That's down the block. Yeah. <laughs> Not that far from here is the Mortal Kombat corner where the kids scream Mortal Kombat in honor of Mortal Monday back in 1993. Hello there, Miss Cecilia. Do, 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 do. It's a narrow street. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. A lot of stuff going on here in downtown. Regardless. Regar regardless if there's a Harambe statue or not. I'll put the art. You know what I will do once I uh, hop on the subway here. I'll put the link to the article about the Harambe statue in the description of the video below. That's what, that's what I'll do. So I guess that statue. Good to hear from you. It's, it's, it's all good, Natasha. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But thanks for tuning on in. Bright morning, Diana. Beautiful morning here in New York. Nice and cool. In the upper 60s right now. Very low humidity, so it's very refreshing out here. But might as well walk through World Trade Center really quick. See what's going on over there before finishing. You're more than welcome, Ange. I tried. <laughs> that was a fun moment. 
All right, into Sugati Park we go. Right here where this big orange uh, or red sculpture is, that's where the last chick chock full of nuts used to be. The last holdout on this publicly, privately owned space, Pops. Hello there, Nana. Let's make our way. Down to the World Trade Center. Say hello to Survivor Tree. And then we'll hop on the train in the transit center. I gotta put money on my Metro card, just realized. How cold is it? It's in the upper 60s there, Maria. So it's perfect hoodie weather. And I wouldn't consider it cold. It's nice and crisp. Nice and crisp out. Hello there, Cynthia. You're warming up in Michigan. Yeah, tomorrow it's going to warm up uh, at least another 10 degrees here in New York. Hello there, Anna Jean or Annie Jean or Jane. Welcome. Unfortunately, no Harambe statue facing off Morris the Bull. That's what I was hoping for today. As I walk down, what's the story of the tall rose? Anya Jane, good to see you, Anya Jane. So there's really no story behind the large rose statue. It's just that it's there. It was part of the uh, revitalization of uh, of Zuccotti Park. And what used to be there used to be the the uh, the uh, double check, the statue of double check, but he was moved up there to the corner but exactly it's hard to dress for this kind of weather we have like four seasons in one day you enjoy my live streams thank you so much cb let's see the progress here of the greek orthodox church that's right when do you uh, regard autumn and, and, and as an Indian summer? That was like yes, what was it Friday? It was hot like last Friday was I, I would call that Indian summer. It was hot, but now definitely an autumn feeling, and the leaves are beginning to change color here in Memorial Plaza. That means I got to head on up to Prospect Park and Central Park this week. We got to go. We gotta go leafing. Look at those autumn colors. So right here to my left hand side, the almost complete the shrine of St. Nicholas. Finally back under construction after an almost two year hiatus. And then right here, we're gonna walk into Memorial Plaza. Let's uh no we'll do first, we'll go say We'll go down the Memorial Glade. And I cannot pronounce your name. Uh, Pokraya? Uh, with, a, with, a with, with a 19 ruble super chat. Thank you so much. What are 19 rubles? You're on here in Mass on the border of Vermont. Almost peak there, yeah. I'll see you later, Will. Be careful out there driving that northern line. I wish we had the Harambe statue. Yeah, Prospect Park. We've got to hit up Prospect Park since the leaves are beginning to change color. But there, see that globe on top of the park there? On top of the loading dock for the mall below. And that is Fritz Cohen's sphere. The last surviving piece of sculpture art from the World Trade Center. Let's take a close up look at it, shall we? Yeah, 
There it is. Last surviving piece of sculpture art. Enter Memorial Plaza. Good to see you. Like I said, no, no Harambe statue, unfortunately. He barely lasted a few hours here in New York. That makes me think if he was a, a sanctioned statue. He could have been a renegade rebel statue just placed there for a few hours. So the World Trade Center Memorial is called Reflecting Absence. Hello to Udrik Guten Tag. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, that's right there, Ann. But, um, reflecting absence. Good to see an easy rider. Uh, reflecting absence um, comprises of 274 white swamp oak trees and one very which you will see in a few moments. But what we're going to walk down right now is roughly the area where the ramp was when they were unloading or clean, cleaning out the World Trade Center site. And this area here is called Memorial Glade, a memorial within the memorial. This pays tribute to everyone we have lost. I don't know if swamp oak trees are native to this part of Manhattan. I, I, I know they were picked due to the way they grow uniformly. Up thrustings of Manhattan schist, the bedrock of New York. And we have lost more firefighters since September 11th than on that horrible day in 2001. But usually, uh, hello there, Fang. People usually leave uh, little mementos here and whatnot. If you come here to Memorial Glade, a couple of sit or stand on top of these up thrustings of rock. And again, this is a memorial, so please, please have a sense of decorum. Hello there. Uh, I'll see you later there, Mirna. Have a great day. And to tell you guys, what are the buildings at the World Trade Center? What, what is what? Number one World Trade Center. Number seven World Trade Center. Number three. Number four. Number two World Trade Center has not begun being built yet. What is under construction is the World Trade Center Performing Arts Center. And right here in front of us, the street's a little bit lower, a little bit more round than the other trees, but here is Survivor Tree. Rescued three weeks. 2001. The first tree to bloom in the springtime and the last tree to lose its See all the other leaves here are well underway. Hello there Mark Davis out there in Toronto. Hello there Sunshine and Y. Welcome. Unfortunately no Harambe statue. I know it's in the title. <laughs> that Harambe statue barely lasted a day. Well, there it is. There's a survivor tree. Let's say a quick little prayer here by the South Tower of the World Trade Center.
Hello there, Meryl. So, a very subtle thing with the memorial here in Memorial Plaza at the World Trade Center is the last ring of trees here would have been where the wall would have been standing, where the Twin Towers were. So when you're touching the names, you are within the footprints of the Twin Towers. So remember, do not sit on the names, do not lean on the names, and more importantly, don't pose in front of this. Out of the 2,753 people who died here at the World Trade Center, only about 1,400 ever got a, a body part back. We want to welcome RoboJax. Let's go by the North Tower here. And another memorial within the memorial. And we'll say another prayer by the North Tower. Each void recycles some 110,000 gallons of water a minute each. It's an engineering marvel in its own right. These two kind of anonymous looking buildings off here in the background along West Street, these are the pump houses for each memorial void. But I remember where I remember I was happened. I worked overnights at that time. But uh yeah. Whenever I smell people welding or diesel smoke, that tends to make my memories remember of that horrible time. Oh yeah, me too, me too, sunshine. Absolutely, 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 guys. Yeah, beautiful memorial. And now we're going to see a quick, quick little prayer by the North Tower here. But let's go by another, another uh, memorial within the memorial. Wow, you lost two of your best friends. I'm so sorry to hear that. Wow, we got a reflection from one of the, from one of the buildings. Oh, it's, it is coming from one world. See those leaves change in color. By the North Tower. As a native New Yorker, it never gets easy coming down here. But look, right across the way, something very exciting is taking place. So right here under construction is the soon to be completed World Trade Center Performing Arts Center. And they have begun to install the uh, decorative um, marble on the structure. Look at how cool this marble looks, guys. 
Wow, it's a really cool pattern. The Performing Arts Center is a dynamic structure that's going to have movable acoustic walls. And the whole structure itself is going to look like a floating cube. But that is a pretty cool pattern there. You're more than welcome, Diana. That is a pretty cool pattern of marble beginning to... Wow, it looks cool, right? And it's going to be, it's going to be lit up in different colors and... Really, really nice. Here's a rendering of this of the uh, finished structure just up ahead here, so I'm going to show that to you guys. But uh, very excited about the uh, Ronald O. Perlman Performing Arts Center. Technically, this is number six World Trade Center, but I they're not going to call it number six. But this is the completed st structure right here. This is going to be very exciting. Hello there, Deming. That's going to be... It's going to be lit up from behind, I heard. Or maybe in front. Who knows? But that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be a, a staircase underneath it. But looking very much forward to this. Yeah, very heavy marble, no doubt. But uh, I guess now, I guess uh, I was planning on doing just an hour today, so let's head on over to the Oculus. Right here in front of us. Good to see you there, Dave. Unfortunately, there was no Harambe statue. They have. Uh, he, he only lasted. He only lasted a few hours, char facing off against the charging bull statue. But here is the transit center, also known as the Oculus. This structure is meant to re reference the spreading wings of a dove. I can only go inside through one side here because they don't like me uh, filming in there for, 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 what, what, for whatever reason. I have sent emails to Brookfield Place and the Lower Manhattan Alliance. And they all said that it's perfectly fine for me to do my live streams. But tell that to the security guards who work down there. Across the way here, with all this uh, graf uh, graffiti street art. This is where number two World Trade Center will begin to rise. And they have uh, reverted back to the original number two World Trade Center plan, which is gonna look like uh, basically almost as tall as number one World Trade Center, but there's gonna be like a diamond on top, which references the space between the two Twin Towers. Hello there, Dave. All the flags at half staff. And Powell, who passed away uh, over the what, Sunday, Sunday or Monday. Colin Powell from the Bronx, a true New Yorker. Off in the distance. Um, St. Paul's Chapel. Looks like we got a little green market happening here. All these goodies look good. And the empty Century 21 right across the street. Let me put on a mask because I'm going to go underground. Get you guys, uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to show you guys the photographic sweet spot at the Oculus. So let me first put on my mask. And then into the subway we go. And if you don't know the rules behind masks, 
here in New York City. Basically, the rule is if you're in an enclosed area, you have to most likely wear a mask. <coughs> this includes all mass transit hubs and trains. And also, you're more than welcome, CD. And Meryl Yasla with a $5 super chat. Meryl, thank you so much for the $5. Thank you for joining the $5 club. Let's go inside, shall we? Let's do it. Hopefully the, sec hopefully the security guards won't get skittish around me. Only about 60% of everyone who uses this train station actually uses it at a train station. And the, the other 40% just come in here to take pictures. <laughs> Look how great the lighting is right now. Beautiful lighting here in the Oculus. Let's go down. Let me show you the photographic sweet spot. And I will tell you a little secret, not really a secret, but a little thing about the Oculus here. And ooh, the original World Trade Center corridor is back open again. Ooh, we're gonna visit the old World Trade Center, everybody. We're gonna visit the original World Trade Center. We're gonna walk through time. We're gonna, we're gonna time travel before we hop on the train, guys. Oh, you guys are in for a treat because this thing is, it's the first time this thing is open since the pandemic. So I am very excited to show you this once again. It's been over a year, almost two years since, uh, since it's been open. So we're going to go through the original corridor, the last little bit of the original World Trade Center complex. But first, let me show you the photographic sweet spot here at the Oculus. If you ever were to come here and you want to take the perfect symmetrical picture, I'm going to show you that right now. If we walk in this direction here, this is leads you underneath Fulton Street to the Fulton Street Transit Center, which is on Broadway and Fulton Street. And there you can pick up the A, the C, the 4, the 5, the 2, the 3, the J, and the Z. And directly above me is the W and R trains. Let's go down the steps here. Let's go down the steps. I love the curved marble here. Always pretty. So now we are in the Oculus and if you want to take that perfect picture, this is how you look, this is how you look for it. We have here these circles and the squares here. See how the three circles line up and you get the squares in the middle? Let's stand inside the squares. And then watch. The perfectly symmetrical shots. So this skylight right here lines up with the third memorial and it's called the wedge of light and basically this this lines up with this angle of the sun on september 11th between 8 30 in the morning and 10 30 in the morning and from 8 30 in the morning till 10 30 in the morning only on september 11th a shaft of light will pass across the floor here at the oculus Daniel Liebeskin, the uh, master planner for the New World Trade Center. This is like the third memorial, as he puts it. But beautiful sunlight today. Beautiful sunlight. But there it is. If you go off in this direction here, if you go just to the left, you go down the stairs, and that's the path train to New Jersey. And if you go to the right, take the corridor down, you will enter the Winter Garden at Brookfield Place. But now... Let's make our way up, because we're going to hop on the subway. 
But let's go time traveling here, guys. I am so excited that this is reopened. It's the first time it has reopened since the pandemic. We're gonna go to the original World Trade Center corridor here. The historic corridor here at the World Trade Center. Yeah, nobody's bothering me yet, Ange. I heard one, there was one security guard that was giving me some kind of comment, but she's not moving, so. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, Dave, called the Wedge of Light. There's a couple of videos of it about how it works and it's a full significance and meaning. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these stairs and look, it's a tour guide doing her tour. Tour guide, tour, tour guiding right there. But here it is. Here it is. Here is the corridor here. The original World Trade Center corridor. All the signage is original. This ramp is original. And the doors just up ahead are original. Now this door right here signifies when they were still doing the search. See, it was cleared on 9.13. Pretty cool, huh guys? But there you have it, old with the new. Let's put some money on my Metro card and hop on the train. <laughs> it's a pretty cool history, huh guys? Let's put some money on my card here, right? Piece of history. And I'm so happy it has reopened. because it's been closed for so long. I, used, I love showing you guys that. Uh, you can definitely feel the energy. That is without a doubt. You remember first time using it? Yeah. And now we got to get used to the, uh, the Omni card there, Ange. Looking very much forward to it. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> All right, let's hop on the R train. This lovely corridor here created after September 11th. What's my pin number? One, two, three, four. No Omni card yet, Felix. I'm trying to find one. I've been trying to find that damn Omni card for a long time now. I don't care. I'm, I'm willing to spend the five dollars on it. I know you guys have the Presto card there. More than welcome, Diana. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Duly noted. Yes. <laughs> And just like that, we're on the downtown R train. And is that my train? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Have a fantastic New York day, whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones, cherish the moments.
And good afternoon and good, av good evening and good night, Mrs. Calabash. Wherever you are. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> and sorry for no Harambe. I think uh, <coughs> this train might be delayed here. Oh, there we go. See you guys later. Ah! See, you guys, see you guys later.